away! The war is over and Lady Stockings are now made of silk! These are indeed marvellous days! Hello and welcome once again to Marvellous Days! Today's Marvellous Day is June the 3rd. If you're born on June the 3rd, you share your birthday with the late great composer and singer Curtis Mayfield. Probably most famous for composing the soundtrack to the film Superfly! Also born was the movie star Tony Curtis, who starred in films such as Operation Petticoat, Spartacus, and Some Like It Hot. Only a few people know this, but his wife, quite marvellously, was actually Janet Lee, the woman who died in the shower scene in Psycho. And together, through their love, they created a daughter. And that daughter grew up to be... Jamie Lee Curtis! Watch Arthur. Also born on June the 3rd is the highly famous British soap star Michelle Keegan. Yes! I don't know who that is either. But apparently in 2013, Michelle Keegan won a British Soap Award for being the sexiest female in 2013. Well done, Michelle Keegan, for not being ugly in 2013. But what famously marvellous things happened in history on June the 3rd? I hear you ask. Well, in 1665, the Duke of York famously defeated the Dutch fleet. I have no idea whether he was grand, I have no idea whether he was old, and I certainly have no idea whether he had 10,000 men. However, I do know that he did not march them up to the top of the hill and back down again. Mainly because his epic battle against the Dutch fleet actually took place in the sea off of the coast of Lowestoft. Also, on June the 3rd, 1789, an explorer called Alex Mackenzie explored a river in Canada which is now called the Mackenzie River. Surely someone had noticed it before. It's weird, isn't it? Posh people go around discovering rivers and poor people just kind of go around trying to stay dry. Also on June the 3rd, 1856, the screw machine was patented by a man called Cullen Whipple. There is nothing humorous I can say about that. People simply need to screw things at one point or another in their lives. June the 3rd, 1875, arguably the inventor of the telephone, Alexander Graham Bell, made the first voice transmission on this day. I love this next one. June the 3rd, 1906, King Leopold II of Belgium said that Congo was his private possession. It's a bit greedy, isn't it, saying an entire country is your private possession? But, you know, if you're allowed to do that, I decree the entire universe is mine! Naturally, I'll share it at weekends. Now, here's another saucy little sexy one. On June the 3rd, 1946, the first ever eeny weeny teeny weeny bikini goes on display in Paris, France. I know what you're saying. Yeah, whatever, mate. It was probably in the window of a branch of La Senza. Now, here's a marvellous bit of history that I personally don't believe. June the 3rd, 1956, British Rail got rid of all third-class travel. No, they didn't. It's still going on nearly every train in Britain. June the 3rd, 1964, and the Rolling Stones began their first ever tour of the United States of America. In June the 3rd, 1967, Respect by Aretha Franklin reaches number one. Now, here's a very strange one. On June the 3rd, 1970, Kink's frontman, Ray Davies, travelled all the way from New York to London in order to change just one word of his song Lola from Coca-Cola to Cherry Cola. Because apparently, the BBC didn't like the commercial reference. Curse you, British Broadcasting Corporation! They didn't have air miles then, you know! And finally, for some marvellous Jewish news about June the 3rd, 1972. Yay! Finally, America got its first ever female rabbi. Her name was Sally J. Priesend. Go, Sally! Anyway, that's it for the marvellous day June the 3rd. Join me again soon for more marvellous days. And don't forget to subscribe to Mount Marvelous! Why not do something marvelous like subscribing to Mount Marvelous and then you will have even more marvelous days!